Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Staples Connect Hub. This is one hub and one app that integrates all of your home automation type solutions into one. So I am big into home automation. The problem I have is right now on my iPhone, I probably have six or seven apps to control all the different home automation services I'm currently integrating into my home. What the Staples Connect seeks to do is combine all of those into one convenient solution. Now, they have several different turnkey style kits that you can buy, uh, starting with just the Connect Hub itself. That will cost you $99. What I was sent is the Connect Lighting Kit, which includes the Hub and a couple other items, and that sells for $199. So essentially what this lighting kit includes is the Hub itself, which includes the Hub, an Ethernet cable, and a power adapter, and then three additional components. You have this Lutron Pico remote control. You have an in-wall light switch dimmer. And then you have a plug-in style dimmer as well. So essentially these four items sell for $199, but gets you the hub to which you can add all of the other components. And we're talking about things like door locks, thermostats, water sensors, cameras. The list is virtually endless, and that's really what's so cool about this. And again, it all integrates into the one app, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So first thing we'll do is head over to the hub, which I already have set up, and take a look at it fully installed, and I'm gonna show you how it works. All right, as you can see, I have the Staples Connect hub sitting on top of my older Airport Extreme. This does require you to connect the Staples hub directly into the router. So you must use ethernet, and then of course the Connect Hub needs power. That's really all there is to it. Once you have the hub connected into one of the available ethernet ports of your router, as well as power into the wall, you head over to the Connect app, which you can download for either iOS or Android, and you use that app to first set up the hub and then set up all of the different devices that you wanna add to your hub network. So as I mentioned, in addition to the in-wall dimmer switch that this particular kit comes with, you also get a plug-in style one, which is what I have set up right here. I have a floor lamp plugged into the plug-in style dimmer switch. Now the dimmer switch has some controls on it, including on-off as well as up and down to dim the switch, and then two different outlet connections that you can plug into either side up. Once this is all configured, you're able to control it through the app, which we'll take a look at right now. So I currently have the Connect app installed on my iPad and I will just launch it right now. This is the interface, which um, has a really nice design. These big icons represent all of the different kind of areas of the Connect app. And you can see you have things like activities, rooms, lights, locks. These are all the different things that you can add. The only things that are actually usable are the things that are blue. You can see because I only have, as I mentioned, one of the light, um, light modules installed, that's the only thing that shows up. So when I go into that, you can see that I do have that floor lamp and here is the dimmer style switch that I can adjust the brightness level of all the way from 100% down to off. And I can do that right from within the app. That's really in a nutshell what this can do, but it can do so much more. The activity icon is where this really gets cool. So you can create manual and automatic activities. The automatic activities are ones that happen by themselves. For example, I have the floor lamp plugged into that in wall module and essentially I have that set up so that it will turn on that lamp at night when the sun goes down automatically and then turn off when the sun comes up in the morning. So you can set up all kinds of things like that. You can also set up manual controls where you simply tap something and it creates a certain action. For example, I could integrate these Staples Connect with my Philips Hue bulbs and from one touch of the app have all the lights flash a certain color. So as I mentioned, I'm only able to just scratch the surface here with the Connect because of the limited stuff that I was sent. Uh, there are so many other things that you can add. You can see some of them here from blinds, like I mentioned, water sensors, to doorbells, to fans and appliances, garage doors, IP cameras, locks. It goes on and on, and the cool thing is there is no limit to what you can add. So you can start out like I did with one simple light and then continue to build until your house is 
fully automated. And as I mentioned, the beauty of the Staples Connect Hub is it all integrates into one application as opposed to going through several different ones. So if you want to learn more about the Staples Connect Hub, you can hit the link I'll have in the video description. That will take you to the Staples website where you can learn all about it. I'll also have a link there in my, uh, to my full review of this over on runaroundtech.com. There's much more explanation about how it all works in that review. Of course, if you have any questions about this or anything else, be sure to drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day.